Welcome back to Miss Curtis's art class. Today we are going to focus on making a Henry Matisse collage. We are going to use shapes that were similar to the ones that he made in his pictures. And on the second page, and this is on Miss Curtis's art website, this handout, down below you can create your own shapes that you would like to draw. And maybe you wanna make some that are influenced by the same style as Henry Matisse. That is your choice. So we're going to color these in, we're going to practice cutting, and we are also going to adhere them to another piece of paper and arrange them in a very unique way. So a little bit about Henri Matisse. He was a French artist and he was known for using very bright colors and again, for making these unique shapes. He has a very interesting quote, which I'm going to read to you right here, which is, he who loves flies runs and rejoices is free and nothing holds them back a lot of people say that their his paintings and his collages they make them feel very joyful and free and as you can see in this picture right here a lot of these shapes are organic and unique and each one although some look similar are completely different because he took his time drawing and cutting them out so we are going to start by making our collage and I'm really excited to see what kind of shapes that you make and also the way that you arrange these unique Henry Matisse um, inspired shapes. Okay, so we're going to get started here and I am simply going to color in each shape. Okay, so I'm gonna take my time coloring in each one and I'm just gonna pick one color as I go. And then I'm going to create a unique shape right here and also one over here. All right, so I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna choose my first color. I'm going to work with blue and I am going to take my time coloring in the shape and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So holding my paper, I'm simply going to take my crayon, try my best to stay in the lines. I'm pressing back and forth and I am going to color in this particular shape right here. Now something I want to point out to you is that the lighter you press, the lighter the color is going to come up. Whereas the harder you press, the more vibrant the color is going to be. So take your time coloring these in. I would like you to try your best to get all of the white areas within the shape. That way you can see the color and it's nice and vibrant. So I'm gonna work on coloring in my shapes. I'm gonna work with different colors. And then the second part of this project, we are actually going to spend some time working on cutting out these shapes and then adhering to them to another piece of paper. All right, so now that I colored in my Henry Matisse inspired shapes, I am going to draw my own unique shape right here and then a second one over here. So I'm thinking I might do something kind of cool, a little more organic like this. And I might do something like this. Kind of looks like a moon and it has some grooves into it. So I'm going to color in these. I'm going to cut out all my shapes. I'm going to show you how to cut them out and then I'm going to arrange them. Okay, so now that we have colored in all of our shapes, we are going to start to cut these shapes out one by one using our scissors here. And I'm going to demonstrate how to cut these shapes out. So what I would recommend is I would start by cutting out each square box 
I would go around. And cut them out. And set them to the side. You can even trim this little piece off too if you want. So, just gonna take my time cutting out each of the boxes. And then once those boxes are cut out, I can very carefully go around each shape, cutting them out. And sometimes too, when I get to areas like this, I just cut right to the edge and that little piece of scrap paper will fall off and keep going around, okay? And then when you're done, you can have an entire little pile of paper that was cut off. You can keep it into a pile and you can throw it out, okay? So take your time cutting out each square box and then the individual shapes inside. And you'll wanna keep a pile of your shapes as well so that you have them ready to go when you're going to arrange them on paper. So as you can see, I took my time cutting out these shapes. As I do, was doing it, I was having fun kind of looking at them and I was thinking like, hmm, what does this shape look like? Kind of felt like this one looked like a dinosaur a little bit. So it's interesting. I'd be interested to hear what you think these shapes kind of look like and when you arrange them on your paper, what kind of images do you see that come from it? So over here, I'm keeping all of my shapes that I cut out very carefully set to the side. And then any of the scrap paper that you cut off from those shapes. We are just going to gather it and either toss it in the recycling bin or you are just going to um, put it in the garbage, okay? All right, so now comes the fun part. We are going to take our shapes and you can start to arrange them into a composition of your choice on your paper. So maybe you're inspired by some of the pictures and collages that Henry Matisse made, or maybe you wanna come up with um, something completely different. That's up to you. So I'm simply going to take my shapes and see how they work together. Maybe I don't want these two blues next to each other. Maybe I kinda of wanna have the colors spaced apart or maybe you do want them close together. So I'm excited to see what you come up with. Try rotating them. Um, maybe you kind of want some of them going off the edge of the paper or on the paper. Um, maybe you might have some that are overlapping. You could have them overlapping. All right, so once you start to arrange your design how you like it, you are going to use glue, and right here I have a glue stick. A very simple way of doing this is you can simply, you know, just press it onto the back in different areas like so. You can put it on your table and do that. Or you can hold it and just move it around the top of the glue stick like so. Try to make sure that you get the edges of your shapes, okay? And then I'm just simply going to press it down onto my paper and it will stick just like so. So I'm going to uh, start gluing down my shapes and arranging them into my Henry Matisse inspired collage and I can't wait to see how yours come out. So just like that, I have my Henry Matisse inspired collage. I had fun working with the different colors and cutting out the unique shapes and even making our own shapes I think was pretty fun. 
So when you look at your image, when you're finished, what kind of things do you see? So I'm excited to, again, see how yours come out and kind of have a discussion about what we see within our artwork.